Explore GLX is your personal science computer. This is the box that your Explorer GLX comes in. Let's take a look at what's inside. Inside you should find a quick reference card. This has all the basic information for getting started. You'll find a manual that has more detailed information and several activities that you can perform with the built-in measurements of the GLX. You'll find a cable for connecting your Explorer GLX to your computer. If you're using a computer, you also have a tutorial CD which has some great tutorials for getting started and learning some of the features of the Explorer GLX a power adapter for charging and powering the Explorer GLX, of course the Explorer GLX itself, and the probes that you'll need to take advantage of some of the built-in measurements such as voltage and two temperature probes. That's the system out of the box. Let's take a look at how that comes together. Okay, let's look at an extremely simple lab. Our student wants to look at constant velocity, so they're going to go ahead and plug in a motion sensor. And position themselves in front of the motion sensor and then begin collecting data. The student moves away from the motion sensor and we stop collecting data. As you can see the data has been scrunched down into the corner here so we're going to go ahead and auto scale that to fill the screen and we can take a look at the analysis. Let's try and determine the actual velocity of our student. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the tools and I'm going to look for the linear fit and I'll select that and I get two cursors and I'm going to move those cursors using my arrow keys first the top one to the top part of where I want to measure and then I'm going to switch my cursor to the bottom and I'm going to move that as well as you can see while I'm doing this the actual line shifts to the area that I'm interested in so our student based on the slope here was actually traveling at approximately 0 0.174 meters per second. Once I've finished my analysis, I'm going to want to go ahead and save my file. I'm going to move to the home screen and to my file management system. As you can see, it shows the working memory of the Explorer GLX and the flash memory where I can store things like templates. This is the file I currently have open, so I'm going to go ahead and connect a flash drive. As you can see, the flash drive automatically opens up as another storage option. I'm going to move back to my regular memory, select the file that I'm interested in, the one that I've been working on. I'm going to select the file menu here, and I'm going to move down to copy and select it. As you can see the icon changes slightly and I'm going to move that down to the destination which is going to be my flash drive and now I simply hit the check button and the file has been transferred. Let's just verify that by checking out the flash drive and there it is. Another way to save files, and a great way to manage files in your classroom, is to transfer them directly from one Explorer GLX to the other. All you need to do this is the USB cable that comes with the Explorer GLX. I'm going to plug into the USB on the go port on the receiving Explorer GLX, and I'm going to plug into the standard USB port on the transmitting Explorer GLX. Now when I move over to the file menus, you'll see that the receiver has the same standard memory locations. The transmitter has its standard memory locations, but it also shows the memory locations of the other Explorer GLX. So transferring files is incredibly simple. I go to the same menu I did before. I select copy. You see the icon shift that we had before. I'm going to move that file down to its desired location. In this case, I'm going to put it into the flash memory of our other Explorer GLX. And the reason I'm going to show you this is because this is the technique that teachers would use to transfer templates to an Explorer GLX that they want students to have in permanent memory. So I'm going to go over to the flash memory of the second Explorer GLX and take a look. And there's the file that we just transferred. Let's take a look at the basic anatomy of our Explorer GLX. Up front we have the screen. This is a 320 by 240 quarter VGA full resolution screen. We have the function buttons. These are mapped to each individual screen. We have the navigation buttons. 
which allow us to move around or enter into various screens. We have the basic functionality buttons, such as start and stop, home screen, delete, and of course, annotation. And we have the numerical function keys. This allows us to do calculations or numerical or text entry. At the bottom, we have the power button, the speaker, and the microphone for built-in sound measurements. On the right-hand side, we have the power connection. We have a USB port for connecting peripherals such as keyboards or using printers. We also have a USB on-the-go port which allows you to connect to the computer or connect additional peripherals. On the left-hand side, we have a port for using powered speakers with a dual function generator. We have a port for connecting the voltage probe and two additional ports for connecting temperature probes. Now let's take a look at the Explore GLX fully connected. I've placed my Explore GLX in its lab stand. I've connected a powered speakers to the output jack. I've connected a keyboard to the first USB port. I'm using a peripheral cable to connect the printer to the second USB port. We're going to be doing a sound lab as you may have guessed from the speakers here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my navigation keys to focus on the output. I'm going to look at the first channel here and I'm going to turn it on. You can hear a low tone being generated. I'll go back to the home screen and then over to the graph. I've set up the graph to act as a scope. So I'll go ahead and start collecting data. And you can see a sine wave being generated there. And of course my voice intermittently interrupting that sound wave. So once I have the waveform that I like, I'm going to stop collecting data to, cl to capture that waveform. And then I'm going to go ahead and print it. So I'm going to select from the graph menu the print option. And that will send my graph right over to the printer. So now I have a full page graph that's ready for my lab report. If you would like to use a language other than English with your Explorer GLX, please follow these steps. Use the navigation keys to move to settings. Select settings. Move down the menu to language. Select language. From the list that appears, select the language that you are interested in using check for OK and confirm. Within a few seconds you'll be ready to go. Thank you for choosing Pasco Scientific